guys, welcome back. It's Laura Dillon with Drop by Drop. I am going to be doing a new video to um, replace the one that I have on there now. It's about why we don't use vodka. But I'm also going to include witch hazel, which is also something that people like to use, and then isopropyl alcohol. Uh, this is vodka, obviously, 40% alcohol. This has 14% alcohol. This has 94.5%, which is Club 190, which is also the same as uh, Everclear. This is your standard perfumer's alcohol, which is 95% um, grain alcohol. And then you have your isopropyl, which is 99. All right, so let me pull those out of the way. Now, in front of you, we will be using today because I want to make sure that people... Um, know that I am using also essential oils. So let me pull that down a little so you can see. I also am I'm using an essential oil today. This is cassia bark or cassia bark, which is like a cinnamon bark. And what I'm going to be doing is a uh, my normal one to four ratio. So I am going to now put 24 drops in each one of these. All right. So one two. 12, All right, so that one is for the, sorry, my phone is gone. This one is going to be for the, I believe, yeah, witch hazel. So notice that I have highlighted, this tells you that there's only 14% alcohol in the witch hazel. So with that being said, now we're going to take witch hazel and add it to a four ratio. We're doing the one to four. So there's your one ounce or one mil. And we're gonna take it up to the five. All right, and watch what happens. Let me see if I can get closer so you can see. There you go. All right. I don't know if you can see, but let's see what happens. So we go up to that five mark, that five mark notch. All right. So there you have it. That's for witch hazel. Close that up. So I'm going to turn it and let you see. And now we're going to try and mix this essential oil with witch hazel and you notice what happens beads up like those little neat glass well like marbles little beads all right so you can shake it really hard and it will cloud out cloud up but eventually those are going to um, come right back all right so the oil will separate it will go to the bottom and the witch hazel will go back to the top okay, so that's witch hazel so that's why we don't use witch hazel <laughs> Um, the next one is vodka. So again, we're going to grab our essential oil. This is 100% essential oil. Let me tell you, it's extremely strong. It smells very, very, very strong. It's like almost headache inducing. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four. That's good. All right. And now we are going to add vodka to this one. And use vodka. Let's pull this out. Hold on to that and put that to the side. All right, so let's get our vodka pipette and start adding to there. We're going to go up to that five mark, so we're going to one to four. Now this has 40% alcohol, so that means that whatever can be miscible of that oil will only mix into 40% of this mixture. Will only mix with 40% of the liquid that's in here. Hopefully that makes sense. That's math for today. <laughs> math 101. Okay, let's close that up. There you see. I'm going to try and mix it. So. And you get pretty much the same thing you get with witch hazel. All right, now we're going to shake it up. And see, it's got that cloudiness about it. I'm going to keep it turned this direction so you can see as we're doing the video. 
See how it's already starting to separate down here? The oil is heavier than the water, so it's going down further. All right. Okay, the next one is um, Club 190 or Everclear. Now, this is what most perfumers use when you get started off. It's a, it's a hobby when you start your hobby because all essential oils and fragrance oils are miscible in the um, Everclear. Right, so we're going to throw in some, I'm wasting all this lovely, yummy cassia bark, Ooh, but that's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So the cool thing is, is I can, I have no problem with wasting on this one because I know it's going to um, actually dissolve or be miscible. So let's go ahead and grab our lovely large bottle of Everclear or Club 190, same thing. You'll see that it says it's a, hold on to that. You'll see that it states 94.5% proof. So that means it's 94.5% alcohol where the rest of it is um, the rest of it is distilled water. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. And if you think that adding more is going to allow your oils to um, evaporate or to be to mix, it does not. It actually makes it worse. So you want you don't want to just keep adding more and more water or more and more product to these. It just doesn't work. So don't waste your product. All right. So that's done. All right. Now you can see in there. Let me close it up real quick. You can see in there. Now it looks like it's not going to um, mix, but if you take a look, give it a second. See how it's clouding instead of beating? All right, then we're going to shake it. And there you have it. It's much, it's, it's miscible. So you have, your oil is literally dissolved into this alcohol. All right, so I'll let you watch that one as well. This one is obviously perfumer's alcohol. Now this is only 95%, which is only a half percent more than what you get in grain alcohol. The difference between perfumer's alcohol and grain alcohol, or excuse me, the stuff you get in the spirits store, is the fact that this has some form of denaturant in it so that they can sell it without the perfume tax, or excuse me, the alcohol tax. So, yay. Let me go ahead real quick and put in here, we're gonna go with 24. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, four. Sure, we'll go with that. All right. And now we are going to add our perfumer's alcohol. And this is what we normally use, right? At least I use. We're going to go up to the five mil mark. All right, oops, sorry, didn't mean to keep it where you can see. All right, and so as you can see, it, it looks like it's down at the bottom, but you can't really see a line of demarcation, which you couldn't see it with this one, and you can't see it with this one, but you definitely could see it with those two. All right, so now I'm going to shaky. Same thing, now it's completely missable. It's actually clear, more, a little bit more clear for some reason than the Everclear. But hey, or now it's Club 190 because the place that I buy my Everclear from quit selling Everclear and now they're selling Club 190. So you can use either one. All right. And the next one is going to be isopropyl alcohol because a lot of people I hear use isopropyl alcohol. But isopropyl alcohol, if you've ever used it or smelled it, it's just, it's like one of those perfumes that's, oh, I mean, not perfumes, alcohols that are, it's very, very strong. It's medicinal. It's a different type of alcohol. And um, it's used in medical facilities, and it's extremely flammable. I mean, all alcohol is, I guess, but but it just it's very very harsh. It's extremely s strong, uh, very yeah, very strong. And you also, unfortunately, when you use it in perfume, you know you're using isopropyl alcohol because the scent that comes with it is extremely um, indigenous to isopropyl alcohol. So it's not going away anytime soon. Get on the blast and you'll hate your perfumes. All right, so we're going to go 24. 
All right, so, but because it's 99% alcohol, that's a purple alcohol, it should dissolve. And I'll tell you what, I've never tried this one before, so I don't know. But uh, it, based on chemistry, it should. All right, so here we go. Going to add it up to the five mark. It's, oof, it's so strong in its scent. Oh. And it's drying, exceptionally drying, so I definitely will not ever use this on my skin. All right, so there is the isopropyl alcohol. You can see, look, it doesn't, it's 99%, so it didn't even have a line of demarcation. It's very gradient. It's definitely going to definitely be missable in this. So there you go. But you can see on the vial, there we go. There you go. I mean, it's missable. It works. So if you want to mix your perfumes in isopropyl alcohol, by all means, go for it. Let me see what it smells like real quick. Yeah, no. It totally changes the smell of the oil. All right. So there are your five different types of carriers that people like to tend to ask me about. Um, this is the witch hazel. You see that it's already <clears throat> starting to uh, divide or separate. The oil is at the bottom. You have kind of like a hydrosol up here at the top, which is the water. You have vodka, you notice that there is also a divide that there's the oil is starting to separate, oils at the bottom, hydrosol at the top. Then you have your Everclear or Club 190, and this is um, found in any spirit store, I think in the United States. So if you wanna do it at home, there you go. And then you have Perfumer's Alcohol. As you can see, it's completely missable. And then you have isopropyl alcohol, and that you can do so, you can mix, but I can tell you what, it's gonna change the composition of your perfume completely. It won't smell anything like you were hoping it would be. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I know it was long again, but this time we included a lot more information or a lot more different mediums. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the questions or comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I wanna reach, uh, give a thank you to Renee, and I think it was Scent Stop, who were kind enough to let me know that the last video was, <clears throat> I rambled too much. So I really appreciate it. Those types of constructive criticism are very important to me. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. And you guys have a lovely day and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.